Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child is called Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor in what may have been a nod to Prince Philip, but why did this royal surname change in Fury at Philip? Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was introduced to the world by proud parents Meghan Markle and Prince Harry two days after he was born, on May 8. The little royal later met his great-grandmother the Queen and great-grandfather Prince Philip. Archie was born on May 6, 2019, at 5.26 a.m., and his name was revealed two days later. The littlest royal does not have a title like Lord or Prince and instead has been given the surname Mountbatten Windsor. Picking the surname Mountbatten Windsor could be seen as a nod to Archie's great-grandfather Prince Philip. Before Prince Philip married Queen Elizabeth, he renounced his Greek and Danish royal titles and became a naturalized British subject. As part of this Philip took his maternal grandparents' surname, Mountbatten. However, Prince Philip was not allowed to give his surname to his own children. The Queen declared in 1952 that the royal family's surname would be Windsor and not Mountbatten. This reportedly angered the Duke of Edinburgh who is said to have shouted I'm just a bloody amoeba, stating he was the only man in the country not to have given his children his name. In 1960, the Queen gave him a concession when it was decreed that the Queen's direct descendants who were not granted the title of Prince or Princess would instead be given the surname Mountbatten Windsor. Meghan and Harry granting this surname to Archie means they have formally chosen not to use the title for their newborn. Archie could have been given the title of Lord of Dumbarton, one of his father's lesser titles, but a source told The Sun, they have chosen not to use the courtesy title. When asked about the surname, royal author Penny Jr. said, I would think the Duke of Edinburgh would be absolutely thrilled with that. Archie is a lovely name, but the fact is that they've chosen to call him Mountbatten Windsor. Prince Philip was never allowed to call his children by his own surname. I think that's a really nice tribute to Harry's grandfather. Prince Philip and the Queen met baby Archie yesterday, both smiling ear to ear as they saw their great-grandson for the first time. Also present was Doria Ragland, Meghan's mother and Archie's grandmother. Archie may yet be a prince, as when the Queen either abdicates or dies and Charles becomes king, the little royal's direct link to his grandfather means he is permitted the title of prince.